All right, <clears throat> been trying to record this for a little while. I have no discipline and I'm lazy, which is why I'm really avoiding trying to do a lot of the editing. I'm just trying to get through this stuff in one take, which seems ridiculous, I do realize, but it's just the way that I want to do it. The theme of this particular episode is going to be vaccination. These are vaccines that you may want to consider before you actually go into the hospital, go through open heart surgery or any cardiovascular surgery or any surgery, period and that is the COVID vaccine. I have actually been boosted. I've had four shots. Um, the last one that we got was just a few weeks ago because I've read that the efficacy of the booster is peak about five weeks from the booster, which is about the same time that I'm actually going through the surgery. Now, why did I get this vaccine? Because I already suffer all the worst things that COVID does already. I have a connective tissue disorder. COVID is an endothelial disease. I cannot believe how many of you guys have been reading in the aortic dissection help groups that haven't had your vaccines. Now, I understand people are suspicious, they're resistant, but do understand this vaccine had a lot of research, a lot of pre-research, a lot of information and help put into it. We we're actually using artificial intelligence that helped with virus identification, as well as vaccine development, as well as tracking all the larger problems the vaccine itself may end up causing. Now, again, I've had my four shots. Again, this is a connective tissue disorder that I have, and that is an endothelial disease. And they're showing that it is causing early onset Alzheimer's, strokes, kidney failure, virus spark diabetes, it may cause MS, it may cause ALS down the line. Now these are all illnesses that clearly are a problem nobody would want to get and if you have the opportunity to take a simple vaccine to avoid it, why wouldn't you do it? No really, why wouldn't you do it? I'm serious. Why wouldn't you do it? Now, I haven't had, there was no vaccine available to correct my gene issue. But trust me, if I could have avoided all of the pain, all the poverty, all of it that comes with having a pre-existing condition in this country, I would. COVID is a pre-existing medical condition. Cannot be written off your record for any amount of money. It does affect your ability to buy life insurance. In fact, you generally can only get it through employer-sponsored plans and even then you may be limited to two to three times your salary unless you go through the physical exam process which nobody really wants to do. Again, why wouldn't you consider taking a vaccine to prevent all of these problems? Yeah. I have no idea. I really, really don't understand. The other vaccine to consider pre-surgery is a pneumonia vaccine. Obviously we heard in the beginning a lot of the people that were um, expiring were suffering from pneumonia and actually going out that way. I got my pneumonia vaccine a few years ago, or I re-upped it, I've had it once before in my life. Um, and it was just because it was the one preventative thing that I could do um, to protect myself just in case I did end up getting COVID. Now we have six tests in the closet. We've, my husband has had to take one test. Everyone in his office has gotten infected except him. He still wears a mask every time he's in the office. We still wear masks every time we are out in the public, but ultimately we haven't had any respiratory illnesses in almost three years. So it's just something to consider. I, I hear all the time people say, masks don't work. Well, you weren't wearing the right mask. I've always been wearing the right mask. Never just used a flimsy piece of, piece of cloth. Never, never, never. Now, I am huge into prevention, huge, huge into prevention. That's what I'm doing, trying to help you kind of go through this process, you know, prevent all your worst problems, eat the right things, get the right vaccines, take the right supplements, do the right exercise, try to do all that you can so you set yourself up for success. And that's really all I'm trying to do is kind of try to help you guide, guide you through that. Yes, I know there are lots of, uh, vaccine conspiracy theorists, but ultimately, if you look at historical knowledge just based on what the previous flu did and everything else, these 
these things have a way of coming back to bite us. And unfortunately, COVID is actually a more advanced version of SARS. And that's what I was reading initially. In the January of 2020, I became incredibly alarmed that this was coming and I started researching into it because it sounds so much like all the crap I've already had to endure with my connective tissue disorder that I became very alarmed and I started telling everyone about it. I even have another website that I'm running called coronablona.com, which has a ton of articles, has a lot of the information that I have found, as well as my own perspectives. Hate me all you want, I really don't care. Obviously, I've lived a long time not giving a fuck what anyone thinks of me anyway, so if you want to write shitty comments or go to my website and say shitty things, that's totally fine. I really don't care. I'm trying to put the information out there so that you guys can make better decisions for yourselves so that you don't end up sick and broke like me. And really, that's my main motivation in trying to educate people with this. Obviously, I want to help you survive comfortably, help your family understand all the things that may happen. But then there's just the larger overarching, like, let's help each other. Honestly, and that's it.